Welcome to Java Swing Hello World tutorial for beginners using Eclipse IDE. My name is Nam Haming. I am a passionate Java programmer who is working with Java for more than 11 years. I am founder of CodeJava.net, which is one of the most popular Java programming tutorial websites. I am also Java expert coach for 122 programmers around the world. Today in this video tutorial Java Swing Hello World for beginners I will help you develop a swing project using Eclipse IDE with the window builder plugin. And throughout this tutorial, you will learn how to create a window using the ZFrame class. How to use, use label using the ZLabel class. How to use text field using the ZText field class. How to use button using the ZButton class. You can also learn how to use a simple layout manager flow layout. And you will also learn how to handle the click event of a button. And you learn how to display a simple message box on the screen. What we will do in this tutorial? Here's the sketch of the program we are going to build. It's a small window title water calculator in this window we have two labels one text field and one button the first label display the text how much water should I drink the second label displays the text my weight kilogram and the text field the text field allows the user to input his or her weight and the button with the caption tell me on click of this button a message dialog appears saying uh, the amount of water you should drink a day for example buddy you should drink 3.8 liter of water a day the formula to calculate how much water you should drink a day is water equal weight divided by 10 and multiplied by 0 0.4 ok so let's start let me open uh, the Eclipse IDE as you can see I'm using Eclipse Neon version click OK to choose a workspace Here we go, the Eclipse IDE, uh, Java's perspective. As you know, uh, Eclipse doesn't come with any uh, visual swing uh, builder. So to design a swing uh, user interface, we need to install a plugin called Window Builder. So click help Eclipse Marketplace. And type Window Builder into the file text box. Window Builder. Enter. You see we have one result. That's so Window Builder. 1.9.0 so click install click confirm click uh, I accept the terms of the license agreement and click finish and wait for some minutes 
for window builder being installed into Eclipse IDE and after the window builder plugin uh, has been installed you need to restart the IDE to take the effect of the new plugin install now we can create a new Java project so click menu file new Java project here I enter the project name as uh, water calculator and uh, click uh, finish here we go the Java project water calculator created here as you can see on the left side and uh, right click here and select new package enter the package name as net.codesava swing and click finish ok now let's look back to our design we need to create a, a small window using the JFrame class so we right click here and select new select other and in this uh, wizard we type the frame you see there's an option that allows us to create a JFrame here and click next and then enter the name see I enter the name is water up ok and click finish you see uh, Eclipse generated some code for our ZFrame you can see the water app class and the ZFrame class and it also creates the main method to create a new instance of the frame and set it visible on the screen and here's some code generated in the constructor and look at this uh, bottom you can see the source and design that allow us to switch back and forth between uh, source and design mode so I click the design mode here we go wow this is a window builder design and here's a preview of our frame our Z frame and this palette contains a uh, swing components we can drag and drop the component onto this frame and here's the properties properties of the current selected component for example uh, currently the Z frame is selected so the properties display all the properties of this Z frame and okay I think I should move this property on the to the right side let's see if we can move move this no we can't move okay no problem and here we can change the title of the window click here and enter the title of the window as the uh, water calculator water can calculator click ok you see uh, the Z frame has been updated with a new 
window title water calculator now we add two labels here add two labels and a text field and a button and as you can see we we are going to use a uh, flow layout okay so click the flow layout here and drop on the Z frame and click the source uh, and you see Eclipse uh, generated the code to shut layout for the uh, frame new flow layout okay very cool and now we drag and drop a label onto this window here I drag and drop a label and enter the text for the label how much water should I drink okay and the next label the next label is my weight kilogram okay and we can drag uh, this label after the first one you okay, see you see because this frame is using the flow layout manager so it orient the components from uh, left to right in a same row and when we shrink the window We shrink the window small enough, and uh, we see the component. The the second label goes to the next row. You see, and click save. And now let let try to run this program. Click the run icon here. You see, the program is running and it displays two labels. Cool. Uh, and click the close button to terminate the program. And next, we need to add a text field. We need to add a text field, so click and drop here. And in the properties, when we specify the name for the text field as uh, field with OK, and we also need to bless a button. Now we need to add a button here and click button from the palette and drop to the frame. Okay. You see uh, the window builder design designer in Eclipse doesn't show the button visually I don't know why but actually it lists the button as a non-visual bins let's try to drop here oh okay so we need to pay attention when 
drag and drop components make sure that the components are blessed inside the content pane of the Z frame and now we can change the caption for the button tell me ok and change the name I prefer the practice as a button button tell me ok and we also need to change the phone for the back button caption click the phone here and select the bow and select the size is 12 ok the button get updated now let's try to run this program click on the run icon ok you see the window now looks very similar to what we designed let's see here's our design and here's uh, the actual window we have built you see very similar cool right now we need to write code to implement this formula to calculate the amount of water ok so we click the source to switch to the source window you see now I write the method for calculating the amount of water private uh, float calculate water this method has a parameter that is uh, the weight flat weight ok and this method returns the amount of water which is equal to or the weight divided by 10 and multiply by 0 0.4 and we need to we need to add the F surface here to indicate that this number is a float number so the result will be a float number ok and click design to switch to design mode and now we need to write code to handle the click event of this button now right click and set action new sorry add event handler sorry I'm sorry you need to right click on the button and select add event handle here a list of um, event we can handle but uh, we only interested in handle the click event so select action and select action perform you see Eclipse automatically generates the code for handling event of the button you can see button tell me at action listener and we write the code to handle to perform the calculation here change the algo parameter name ok and here we, we put the code to display a message that look, look like this you see first we need to calculate the amount of water by calling the calculate water method and pass in the value of the weight entered by the user so 
we need to take the value float width equal and float as float and inside we tie the fill width get text okay and float water mouth equal can kill it and pass the weight okay and the string message message equal body you should ring let's look you should ring you my water okay What a uh, day, and here we use a uh, format specifier mm. percent sign zero dot to F. Okay, to display um, this format string. Okay, and Message equal message. We use a format method. Format itself and pass the woman is a word amount. Okay, and to show this simple dialog mm, message box, message dialogs, we need to use the option pane class. The option pane. So message dialog. This method takes to uh, arguments. The first argument is the uh, window itself. So I tie this here, and the second argument is the message. Okay. Because I click report an error here because. Uh, the this here refer to this anonymous class, so we need to copy the WhatsApp name here and paste here with about this to indicate that uh, this is a WhatsApp. Okay, now let let's run the program again and. Let's look back to our design and this is what we have built and enter my weight is 70 and click tell me. Wow! You see this message saying that buddy you should drink 8, 2.8 liter of water a day. Very similar to what we design, okay? We need to change the uh, format specifier to display only one number after the decimal point. Now let's run the program again and enter the number 70. Can you see now this message looks identical to what we designed here? You see, you see. Okay, now enter another number. For example, my weight is 49 kilogram and click tell me the same amount of water. Okay, 60 kilogram. You see, now if you weighed 60 kilogram, you should drink 2.4 liter of water a day. Cool, right? Now let's uh, come back to Eclipse and we see uh, this see all the source code Eclipse generated and we switch to the design mode you see
very uh, easy to build a swing application using the window builder uh, blockchain in Eclipse IDE, right? So far, I have right view how to use Eclipse IDE with uh, the Window Builder plugin to develop a very simple uh, swing application. Now let's back to the slide. Okay, so from now on, you can. Uh, Create your own Java Swing application using Eclipse IDE. To stay connected with me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash code java. And don't forget to make friends with me via Facebook profile, facebook.com nam java programmer. Also visit my website kozava.net for more swing tutorials and remember to like my uh, fan page for kozava facebook.com slash kozava and if you have enjoyed my new lester my awesome new lester you uh, I invite you to join my new lester at newlester.kozava.net Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.